Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Got a lot of things to do. I just got off night shift and the list of things to get done just keeps getting longer and longer. The garden needs tilled, the yard needs mowed. We've gotten quite a bit of rain the past few days, so both of those things are out. I've got firewood that I really need to get cut up and split, but I think today we're just gonna go get the mama cows out of the north pasture, bring them down here. I'm out here right now. I just checked the gate up here on the hill over by the cemetery just to make sure that's shut. They've got all this pasture they can eat on, that pasture up there, and this pasture right out here that Mr. Bull's on. So that pasture that Mr. Bull's on is way too big for him to keep up with by himself. So once they get this pasture eat down here in about a week or so, I'll open up this other gate, let them in on that pasture. About a week after that, I'll pin Mr. Bull up for a few days and turn them into this lot and they can help maintain the level of that. But before that happens, I wanna show you a new uh, farm animal, I guess, that we've got here on the farm. So. Let me show you. Okay, this is her. She uh, she showed up about a week and a half ago, I guess. I don't know if somebody dumped her or what the deal was, but she's real gentle. She's real good with the kids. She does like to jump. We've made Facebook posts on several different groups with pictures, asking anyone if they're missing a the dog. We've gotten no responses out of that. So I guess she can stay around for a while. She seems to behave pretty decent, but I'm not sure what kind of dog she is. She's brindle color. She kind of looks like a, maybe part German Shepherd. I don't know, but she's real sweet. Really find it hard that somebody would just drop her off, but we've made posts for the area that we live in and the towns nearby posting pictures and nothing. So I went to town, loaded up on some dog food, some dog toys, and she seems to like all of it. So I guess she's gonna stick around, hopefully for a while. Also, I did take her around the chickens. She seemed to uh, not be bothered by them a whole lot. I even walked out there and took her by all the mama cows. Mama cows didn't like her. She didn't seem bothered by any of the cows. She actually seemed a little scared of the cows. That's an important feature in a dog that you're gonna have around a farm. You don't want them chasing your, your animals, your chickens or your cows. You could have a dog chase a cow and end up breaking its leg and then you're out quite a bit. She seems to be good. She seems to be good with everything around here. For the time being, she's gonna be part of the family. Okay, well, we're back here in the north pasture. All the mama cows are here. They're eating. We're, I'm gonna have to pull that thing back over on this pasture also. They're here. Dog followed me. So let's get these mamas turned out to greener pastures.
All right, well, the cows are in the other pasture now. So you can see they're way down there by the pond. But while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and drive around the pasture just a little bit. I sprayed for weeds about a week ago. It's about probably close to time to be needing to spray again, uh, but we got rain coming tonight again, so I'm not gonna spray. But I'm gonna go take a look and see how the spray did on what I did spray and see if we have any new thistles or anything pop up. Okay, well, it looks like we got some new ones coming up around here. Not very many. Most of the ones that we sprayed, they're, uh, they're wadding up pretty good. So that's a good thing. I went around and looked at most all the other ones are all about the same, but we do have probably, I don't know, maybe another half a dozen or so coming up. Okay, here's some other ones that we sprayed. Uh, the vines here really didn't do anything to those, but these thistles, it's wadding them up pretty good. There's a few of them back here in this timber where I've disturbed things. Seems to be doing good. So I'll give it a few more days to dry out and then I'll go ahead and spray everything again. Then I can probably pull the sprayer out of the side by side for now. That should do it good for about another month. I'll just have to keep an eye on it. If we have anything else pop up, I'll have to get on it to spray it. Okay, well, we are missing one of the babies and the mama is searching. She knows where she's at. But that pasture shut off now, so we'll have to find it so we can get it back. She's watching me. So her baby's still out here somewhere. She's gonna go find her, which is gonna help us find her. Then we can get them both on this pasture. Then they'll be out of there. I'm just driving in the direction she was looking. If I get close to her baby, she's gonna come get it to make sure I'm not hurting it or anything. See, she's right behind me, following me. Where's your baby at, mama? Yeah, see her? She's gonna take us right to her. That was our newest baby that we've got, the one that she had. <laughs> I found it. Come on, mama. Come on, mama cow. So her baby, I just drove by, sitting right up here. Now she's confused. Meh. So then mama cows can make them babies sit down somewhere and not move. And these babies will just stay here for hours while mama's out eating. So if we're wanting these off the pasture over here, see? Mama sees her now. So now what mama's gonna do is take her baby and go hide it. I just need to make sure she doesn't hide it in this pasture. So let's, let's make sure we get them both out of here this time. Okay, well, mama and baby are out of this pasture. So I'm gonna put the hot fence back up and that's it. I'm glad I counted them before I went ahead and headed home. Okay, well, they're out there eating, enjoying themselves. Swapping cows was that easy, not difficult. When they're tame and not half wild, They'll normally just follow you. They follow that liquid feeder as soon as I hooked up to it and started dragging it. Well, they came through first, but they didn't go far. Hooked onto that liquid feeder, they'll definitely follow it. And this mess I made by dragging it, that's no big deal. They will uh, lick all that stuff up. They'll lick it clean. This thing will look like new. But what this is, this is like a 36% protein liquid feed. It's got molasses in it. Bunch of other stuff. Smells like molasses. But the cows, 
The cows love this stuff and they look good on it. A lot of benefits to using liquid feed. Not having to carry feed buckets out, stomping through the snow during the winter time when it's cold, or raining. They feed themselves, they eat as much as they want, and they look better. So the reason we rotate out pastures is because we don't have enough pasture for all our cows just to have free range of everything that they want. And it gives the grass and everything an opportunity to grow and gain some strength before the cows come by and nip it off. This is what this pasture looks like right now. I mean, they've got it eat down fairly decent. Here in about a week, well, here in a couple of weeks, whenever they get turned back out into this pasture, this is gonna be a whole lot taller. I'll show you all then what it looks like. But you gotta rotate out your pastures, or we do, just to let it recover some. Those cows, I mean, most of the day they stand and they eat and everything else on it. So you gotta give it time to recover after, that's like mowing your lawn every day. It probably isn't good for it. It'd be the same thing with if you had a hay pasture. After I build the hay, I'd probably give it a few weeks or so and then I'd turn cows out on it. Let them stay on that for just a little while, then pull them off before the uh, growing season before you start belling hay. Main reason with that is Cows eat grass and then they poo everywhere. So that poo is fertilizer. It's good for the grass. Makes it grow better. So this is what it'll look like in about a week after you leave the cows off of it. It'll grow back quite a bit. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to do it for this video. I know it's kind of short and sweet. Just a little chore that I needed to get done. Uh, I hope you all kind of enjoyed some of the drone footage I did during this. I've, I got a new drone. I'm going to try to include it into some different footage here and there. But still learning it. Still learning how to fly it correctly. But I hope everyone out there is doing good. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.